welcome to rpa learning session in this session we learn about how rpa and ai work seamlessly together in integration so let's get started in this session you will learn what are the limitations with rpa what are the different rpa and ai capabilities and we'll try to learn how rp and ai works into the business context couple of huge cases so let's get started before i start i just wanted to remind you rpa is a software intelligent software that mimics the human interaction with the computer and it works where you see the repetitive rule based and transactional activity that is happening once again i would like to remind you what i said rpa works wonderfully where there is repetitive rule based and transactional activity so let's understand what are those limitations rpa works only when the data is structured when i talk about structured it means that it should have two dimensional for example excel sheet your any database sql server oracle or mysql or any unstructured document where the place of the items are predefined number 2 is it only works for the processes that has the rule based activity when i say rule based it's binary yes or no yes or no but when it comes to the cognitive ability the rpa fails last but not the least it only works for the simple processes but when it comes to very large very complex processes rpa is not a good candidate so you understood where it fails number 1 when you have done a structured data or any structured files it could be your invoice file it could be your legal document it could be your rent agreement or it could be any text file or word file that has the humongous data or the text or the paragraphs rpa will fail over there and number 2 is decision making when it comes to unstructured data when it comes to unstructured data or unstructured files this required the human cognitive ability to take the decision and that's where the biggest gap is there and rpa fail we need to find it out a way that how can we integrate the structured data with unstructured data simple process with more complex process and rule based processes with decision making ability and ladies and gentlemen that's where rpa and ai comes together but let's understand where is the gap today rpa and all the other your enterprise landscape tools and technique contribute just 20% of the automation rest 80% is being done by human with the human intervention because just think about it i'm taking a pause why because 80% of the data that exists into our business application is unstructured data and wherever there is unstructured data this required human intervention so ladies and gentlemen we have 80% of the problem that we have to solve today and that's where your rp and ai will come into picture so let me invite you to the world of intelligent automation or the world of hyper automation or the world of robotic cognitive automation space where rpa and ai works together seamlessly to solve complex and the simple process to deliver the value very fast to customer so people ask me what is intelligent automation what is rpa and ai where rpa and ai works together so let me invite you that rpa when marry with ai when rpa integrate with ai it becomes intelligent automation and it solves from simple process to complex process in seamlessly with ai this is called intelligent automation so let's move forward how can we do that we know that we learned about 
there are different RPA tools, UI path, automation anywhere, blueprint, but let's understand what are the different intelligent automation platforms. Number one is IBM Watson, it's by IBM. Google Cloud, it's by the Google. Number three, Microsoft Cognitive Services, it's by Microsoft. And these are very, very powerful platform to get started and solve the complex problem. And let me tell you one thing, these platforms are no code or less code without having any coding experience. You can learn AI, integrate with RPA. So the biggest feature that RPA is also a no code, low code platform and AI platforms are low code, no code platform. So good news is that you do not need to know about any technology or tools. It just without any coding knowledge, you can get started with AI platforms. So, what are the AI components? Quickly, let's understand. So, one, though RPA is not an AI component, but it's a part of the AI. Number two is NLP, natural language processing. Number three is chatbot. Number four is OCR, optical character reader. These all circuits are part of our study, but apart from this, process mining or called process discovery. Predictive analytics is one of the very core component of machine learning that helps to forecast and predict any problem statement. NLG, natural language generation, and last but not the least, very, very super powerful one of the component of AI is computer vision. So these are the component, this is not the, these are not the only list, there could be many more, but at, at this now, I'm just giving you overview, what are the different AI components. So let's understand couple of huge cases, how RPA and AI works together. So this huge case is if you look at, at the left side, this is nothing but it's a Amazon, it's a Amazon customer review and the product owner wanted to periodically extract their product reviews from Amazon and infer the buyer's review to drive the sales growth. They wanted to understand what customers are talking about their product. So let's understand where we can apply RPA. So by definition, RPA bot can extract the reviews from Amazon. By definition and by characteristic. But when it comes to infer the decision or understand the user sentiment or emotion or what user are talking about, it fails because all this data or reviews are completely unstructured and that's where AI come along with RPA to rescue and solve a bigger problem. So ladies and gentlemen, here RPA and NLP will work together, RPA will extract the reviews, NLP will infer what customers are talking about and sentiment and then it will give the value to the product owner. Let's understand the other huge case. In this huge case, the bank executives wanted to download the customer KYC document. It could be PAN card, it could be Aadhaar card, or it could be any kind of document. It happens periodically. Extract the personal information, the images, the photographs, and update the bank's record periodically without having any manual intervention. So let's understand where we can apply RPA. RPA is good in terms of going to the website, downloading the documents and updating the bank records by definition. It's a data entry. It's a data entry. But the main problem is here that what bank executives want the KYC document and extraction of personal information and images. That's where RPA fails. So in this case, we need a AI component called OCR, optical character recognition, in order to extract the information from passport, from uh, PAN card, from Aadhaar card. And we need computer vision to extract the photograph and validate the photograph with the existing photograph from the bank records. So hope you understood that what is the limitation of RPA and where RPA and AI works together. So 
this is all about this lesson the session don't forget to complete the exercise activity thank you very much